All right, so today I'm gonna, this is a 2003 Ford Crown Vic. I'm gonna change the coils and the spark plugs. I'm getting actually a uh, misfire from cylinder six. So, um, let me show you right here. Uh, your cylinders are gonna be right in here. There's a, this would be five, six, seven, eight goes in the back. So from left to right, it's very easy for Fords. Uh, this is gonna be your one. Where's the cylinder? Okay, your cylinder one, and two, and three, and then all the way in the back is four. So again, this is a cylinder one, two, three, four, and then it comes back to the front. This would be five, this would be six, seven, and eight. Uh, so we're gonna change those out today. and. Uh, the coils and the spark plugs. If you're getting a misfire, it could be one of your problems. Yeah, usually the coil or the spark plug. So we'll try those out first. Okay, so now for this, the tools you're gonna need, uh, the exact tools you'll need is a seven millimeter with a uh, you know longer one. Of course, this is about two and a half inches. So because you're gonna need to use that for to get the coil off, um, you're gonna need this here. Uh, you can pick the size if you want. I believe it's a, se a seven as well, or you can just use one of these uh, adjustables so that you could uh, take the battery off because you will need to take off the negative. That'll be the first thing you do. Uh, take the negative off because you'll be less messing with some electricals. Uh, for the spark plug itself, you're going to need a 17 millimeter um, and an extended ratchet um, <clears throat> because to get down that hole, you're going to need an, an extension. So if you don't have one, I suggest you get one or you're gonna fall you're gonna find yourself being in a little bit of trouble and then also a flat head because to start off with after we unplug the battery the first thing you need to do is take this screw off here for the for the filter for the air hose filter and take this screw off right here and then take this two off because you're not going to be able to get to the ones you need to which i need to get to number six so it's going to be right under this here and right under this bar as well. So I need to uh, detach this, which is very simple. You're just gonna unscrew this and unscrew here and kind of wiggle it off and move it to the side. So I'm gonna um, take the plug off the battery, which is take the negative off the black one and very simple and then take that one off. So I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm done. All right, so now you guys can see here, um, I took this off literally like I said it was one screw here this kind of goes just like that to over there I took this screw off as well um, and here you can just pop these off so these are uh, hoses as well just be careful because you don't want to have to replace these and they're gonna go right in here so I mean it was kind of like you know simply that was in there this other one was in here and the big one was right there so just take those off put this off to the side and then you'll just be able to access your coils now, which is again is five, this one's six, so on and so forth, uh, seven and eight. So um, we'll just do that, all right? And now I'm gonna show you what to do. Uh, the parts you can get from anywhere, I got the engine coils, I got an eight pack. I only need to change one, but I'm just gonna go ahead and change them all. I'll just change one for the video and then it's, you simply follow the same thing for all of them. Um, the spark plugs as well. You can get them online or you know i actually went to uh autozone it was 28 dollars for eight of them uh, which is like four dollars each not bad uh the coils now it's up to you what you want to spend you can get them at autozone eight of them is going to cost you 200 dollars, or you can buy them online and it's like 50 bucks on amazon or something so depending on you know this quality i don't know what i'm getting you know that there's some mixed reviews about it but again you know for what i paid it's fine if it goes bad i'll have eight of them and I can, you know, reorder them. Amazon is very good. You can send anything back. So uh, let's start doing this now so you guys can see how to change the coil, all right? And the spark plug. All right, so now we're here. Um, again, I'm changing number six. So uh, the first thing that I wanna do is disconnect from here. Uh, there's a little button underneath and pull it lightly. Uh, let me see. Yes, wiggle it a little bit so you can get it out because um, you don't want to you know mess anything up with the cord and wiring because then you'll 
put yourself in a situation. So you kind of tuck that under. Um, and you're gonna use a seven millimeter here. Very small, of course, loosen it, and we'll just take this one off. And I'm sure you guys can figure out how to take it off. All right, so here's number six. So I simply unscrewed it, and it's gonna have this one screw here. You're gonna take that off. Of course, put it to the side where you won't lose it. And you can just wiggle the coil out because it, it kind of, it moves now. So you would just wiggle the, the coil. There you go, you took out your coil. Now inside the coil is a spark plug. Um, very hard for you to see with this. I don't have good lighting, but down there is a spark plug. I'm sure we all know what the spark plug looks like by now. So we'll put the coil off to the side. We'll use the uh, 17 millimeter to get in there. See now, here's the issue. The roundness of this won't fit. So we're gonna have to figure something else out to get inside that hole because it's too thick. So let me just figure out what I gotta do to get inside there, okay? All right, so I uh, figured out we're gonna have to switch this to a 5 8 And the reasoning is because you need to get in that hole to get the, um, to get it out and the only 5 8 will fit in there. Um, you might have a 17 millimeter that might be a little skinnier on the thickness of the round. So you can use that or a 5 8 is kind of, um, I guess it's com almost compatible. They can both work, but uh, my 17 millimeter. So again, just change that to a 5 8 and uh, you should be able to get the uh, spark plug out. I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew the spark plug. Pretty simple, just, you know, turn it to your, turn it to your right um, and it should come right out, all right? Okay, the final issue you're gonna run into is getting the spark plug out after you unscrew it. So if you have a magnet grabber, which I do here, of course, um, we're gonna use this as the opposite side. Here. So it'll pull it right out. As you can see, um, this one looks very corroded, which is probably one of the issues, uh, either the back spark plug or the coil. But we're just gonna go ahead and change both. There's the uh, old one, and then here's the new one. You can tell the difference just right next to each other. One looks really bad, the other one's good. So then we're gonna go in reverse order. Um, put the spark plug in, screw it in, tighten it, put the coil in. After you put the coil in, uh, tighten the bolt, one bolt here again. Uh, put the electrical in. Uh, put your tubes back on for your hosing. And then you should be good to go. Tighten everything up, plug your battery back in, and that's it. And you just repeat this process for all the other ones if any of them done. Um, make sure to check out any other videos. Yeah, so um, if you like the video, uh, subscribe, like it. I'll be putting up some more stuff as I have to change things in this car, so. Um, that's pretty much all you need uh, and now I'm gonna install these uh, new coils and plug it in very simple so if I can help you guys out I'm glad if I couldn't you know I'm very sorry but